Now, when the Beatles first ventured to the U.S., there was a huge media scrum in JFK Airport to meet the Fab Four. Crowds of screaming girls had turned out in force in the Big Apple and held banners above the terminal welcoming their heroes. In the press conference immediately after, one journalist asked when they would retire, possibly thinking that such popularity was a short-run thing and couldn't possibly last forever. But the Beatles proved to be the biggest selling rock and roll band of all time, and their popularity in America has never diminished. Now, there is a special commemorative event to mark the 49 years since the Beatles first stepped foot on American soil, and that is Abbey Road on the River. Organizers have big plans and want to bring the biggest Beatles-inspired festival back to Cleveland on Labor Day, August 30th to December 1st, September 1st. It has been a long time coming. It's been eight years since the last show. And uh, now, all the hardcore Beatle maniacs, well, they can look forward to a day of peace and love at the Nautica Entertainment Complex, where they have set aside the Jacobs Pavilion specially for this event. For more ticket info, see the sale at AROTR.com. The festival is named after Abbey Road Studios in St. John's Wood, London, which is of seminal importance to the Beatles story. It is, of course, the place where the Beatles recorded their most famous albums, including Sgt. Pepper, and this festival allows people to engage with the Beatles in a myriad of ways which a variety of tribute acts in live music. Some of these bands include All You Need Is Love, Jukebox, The LSB Experience, The Norwegian Beatles, The Newbies, Steve Sizemore Group, The Traveling Beetleberries, and Wings Band. Along this hootenay of artists, there will be a wide range of commissioned artwork which reflects some of the themes in the Beatles canon, as well as singing lessons, souvenirs, talks with Beatles scholars, and much more. We'll catch you in the next vid.